Click the links for Odyssey and Bid Shoot to go to the other channels. Uh, Odyssey and Bid Shoot have got a little bit for your speech. Okay, so what kind of cognitive dissonance does this have when anti-vax Nazis to F off and go home? Stand up to uh, uh, child herders with baseball bats and general fascists. Here's the thing. Uh, the left wing is the side of those who hurt children. Like, that's... They're they're ap they're absolutely on the side of the um, normalizing the abuse of children. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think that those anyone who does that after legal due process should should um, get the uh, the final punishment. But um, the the Nazi thing, the anti-vax Nazi things. How do you listen? If you're Antifa, there's not not everyone in Antifa is insane. Like yeah, I know I know who's calling the shots in, with Antifa, um, who's funding it. And there's like cell leaders and that kind of thing. It's like you look at them, you know what they're about. But the thing is, the lower level people, they're not all insane to realize you can't come full circle and realize that, wait, the fascists, you're saying the fascists are the ones who are opposing the government, but you're acting as an agent of the state to push to push vaccines. And they're the Nazis, but you're technically fascists. Technically. If you're acting as an agent of the state, that makes you technically a fascist. How are the Nazis who want free speech and freedom to choose, how are they Nazis? So my point is, if you're in Antifa and you're one of these low-level guys and you got into it for whatever reasons, there's got to be a percentage of Antifa guys who are starting to think, what's going on here? What are we standing for? Who's pulling the strings? Who's funding us? This isn't what I signed up for to tell people to take to act as an agent of the government. That's insane. Just because Biden is in, is in office, you, all of a sudden you think you're, this is like, you're just looking for conflict. Here's the thing what the puppet masters don't want is that the, the people on the far left, you want to call them Tifa far left and the guys in the far right. <laughs> if you want to call Patriot prayer and all those beer drinking groups far right. Um, they have more in common than you would think. Like, if you're in Antifa and your cell leaders are telling you, yeah, we're going to have to push the uh, vaccine, you look at them like, what the fuck are you, fudge are you talking about? That's insane. We're not, we're not agents of the state, are we? When did we become authority of the state? Are we getting paid for this? That technically makes us the fascists if we're working for an authoritarian government. We're just the brown shirts of the authoritarian government. So if you're a low-level Antifa guy, don't let these people, like, don't let your cell leaders, the shot callers, the people who organize these protests, um, don't let them lead you down a path where you've gone 180 degrees from being anarchists, or at least towards the idea of individual liberty, just all of a sudden just being a puppet to the puppet masters. Antifa shoots Samoan protest. No, Antifa is run by Jewish kids. It's funded by um, Soros Rothschilds, uh, a bunch of Jewish groups. And the cell leaders, uh, as you'll see, the ones who get arrested. It's, it's just not a, this is not like a, a secret or anything. It's they're openly Jewish uh, anarchists and communists and stuff like this. Um, those are the cell leaders. The actual foot soldiers are just ordinary folks. Um, so you've got this white and Jewish Antifa attacking legitimate people of color and don't get me wrong the um some of these groups what are they what are they called the proud boy groups a lot of it is just kind of cringy guys just drinking beer they're just a lot of them is oppositional defiance theory also they're just there to um get in fights which is what antifa is there for too it's like these are just big groups of guys who i guess living life in the first world is so boring no you're not fighting fascists um you're not if if you were, you'd go protest out on outside of Nancy Pelosi's house. I mean, I'm not advocating anything illegal, but you you go to Maxine Waters, you go to Schumer and uh, Sanders. No, you're fighting like you have two groups of low low level people who like you're not fighting politicians. You're not even protesting outside of politicians' house. Like one of the things was that Antifa went to Tucker Carlson's house. Some idiot on TV. You think you're affecting change? Go to your politician's house. To, for all both sides of these guys to, to fight in the streets. Go to the politician's house. What are you doing? You can't possibly think that this is accomplishing anything but enacting a police state. Oh, well, the police, how does it enact a police state? Well, the police will use this, the politicians will use this to further remove liberties. 
in this case, Second Amendment issues, it's like there's there's so many puppets who are so eager to be slaves to it to the le- far left or the far right. It's like don't drink the Kool Aid. I'm a, I'm 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 a lot of issues right at center, but I even sent out an earlier video today when I was talking about stuff. I said, don't you drink the Kool-Aid no matter who's pouring you a glass. Always think, think, think. Subject things to IRAC, issue, rule, analysis, conclusion, or the scientific method. Whatever, but think. Do your own thinking. Don't let somebody lead you down this garden path to say, the Nazis are, um, are, are protesting for vaccine choice. Well, then all you're saying is that they're the good guys. And if I was in Antifa, I'd be looking at the Proud Boys and be like, yeah, they're a little bit cringe, but they're pro-free speech and they're pro-freedom of choice, and they're not slaves, they're not agents of the state. I, I'd be getting out of Antifa, but, you know. So that you, so you got white and Jewish Antifa who are actually attacking the Proud Boys, who are a mixed-race group. The funny the thing about these Christian groups and Catholic groups is that they're called Nazis, but they're mixed race. And then you look at Antifa, and it's like, oh, it's white and Jewish kids, or white Jewish kids, whatever you want to call them. They all look the same, but the right wing is all brown and black and white and all these different groups. Like, they literally are the diverse group. It's If you're an Antifa and you look around and you see a bunch of faces that look exactly like you, and then you look at these right wing Nazis, think. Maybe you're being lied to. So, his name's Tiny. He got shot by Antifa, which... Um, uh, this is not good uh, because I mean, what's the, what's the next stage to this? These people um, have a right to uh, assembly; it's in the Constitution, and they also have a right to keep and bear arms, and they have a right to keep and bear arms and protect their for use their Second Amendment right to protect their um, First Amendment right. And if if you're in Antifa and you're saying, "Well, we're going to take away their First Amendment right." And we're going to use our Second Amendment right to do it, though. I'm sure a lot of these guys are in p- the felons in possessions of firearms. So what do you... I Like, who are you fighting for? I know they say Soros and the Rothschilds, but, like, if you're an Antifa, just stop for a second and go, maybe, like, Soros and the Rothschilds are the bad guys. Maybe the state's the bad guy. My point is, there are a lot of people in the far right, left and the far right who actually are very closely aligned, but the puppet masters who are pulling Antifa strings tell Antifa, oh, no, 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 don't talk, don't talk to them. Because they'll, they're such good orators. They're such good, um, what do you call it? rhetoric. Uh, they're such good arguers. They're such good debaters that they'll convince you to come to their side of the Nazis. Really? <laughs> really? Aren't you like capable of hearing an argument and maybe thinking about it and offering a rebuttal? You really think these right wing guys are so, so well spoken? You hear me, you hear what an idiot I am. You really think I'm going to be able to brainwash anyone? Talk to people. Think, think, think. Think for yourself. So he shot in the leg. He filmed his own shooting. Um, Antifa called on supporters to confront the anti-vax Nazis in a social media post this week for the rally. How how does this how does this make any sense to you? You gotta look at yourself in the mirror and like look at these emails and goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, we're le- we're being led down a garden path. This is some serious levels of BS here. Anyway, Gateway Pundit, check it out. There's a lot of news coming out. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next episode.